A message from the mayor of Slavutich, Yuri Fomichev. The evening of March 8th, 2022. Good evening, Slavutich. The 13th day of the war is coming to a close. It was relatively quiet, and our problems remain the same. Today, I'd like to give thanks. Thanks to our boys in the Territorial Defense Forces, who are defending our borders and ensuring that no one can enter our city. Thanks to our volunteers, who are providing a huge, huge amount of help, wherever necessary, no questions asked. They accept tasks and take them on, including physically demanding jobs, and are doing everything they can so we can defend our city. I want to thank anyone baking bread, bringing in milk or food products, handing out food. One especially impressive group, our women, is going around to bed-bound citizens, to multi-children families. I also thank each and every citizen of Slavutich, every citizen that doesn't stand in extra lines, every citizen that exhibits humility by not demanding food be brought to their home, every citizen that respects their parents, family, and loved ones by helping them. You are the true sons and daughters of Slavutich, because that is who we are. We are prepared to help one another. We do not quarrel in lines. We've developed practiced patience. We know that everything will be all right. We know that if there's no bread today, we're sure to have some tomorrow. If you bought bread today, let someone else buy bread tomorrow. All of you true citizens of Slavutich have my sincerest thanks. We've been standing strong for almost two weeks. Yes, there are still no corridors. They're being discussed, and we feel they're coming soon. We must continue holding on, and things will become more difficult as our resources are dwindling. I know there are some people who have no food reserves. These people need our help today. Call your friends, family, and acquaintances and ask if everything is all right. Ask if they need your help today. Ask if they still have food or whether they require assistance from you or someone else that you know. Let's learn to live like this, as a united, loving Slavutich family, regardless of where we're from or the language we speak. A Slavutich where we help our neighbors. This is the Slavutich I'm thankful for today. On this spring holiday, when we celebrate our women, I hope you are able to find some way to bring them a bit of happiness. Things were a bit quieter in Ukraine today, not by much. There are still hot spots. There is Mariupol, which is under siege and cut off from water, power, and other basic necessities for human life. A true genocide is being carried out, yet they are holding firm, refusing to surrender to Russian provocation even when their corridors are being bombed. Things were a bit quieter today in Chernihiv, which is also under siege. They continue to stand firm and provide us with updates. They reported bombing at night and a few stray shots during the day. I am convinced that victory is close at hand. I feel that victory will be ours. We are strong. We have held firm. We answered the call. And we shall continue to hold firm. I'll touch on a few simple things that we're all familiar with. When turning off the lights or covering your windows, Make sure you're doing it properly. If you cover the windows, they should be entirely covered and not left half open, as if covering your view of the street is enough. It's like wearing a mask on your chin. That's just not how it works. We should conceal light sources in our homes. Ensure that lights and stairways are off, as well as those next to garbage chutes, so that the area outside your building is not illuminated all night long. These simple things are worth doing. Our curfew is in effect from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. I sincerely hope that there won't be any sirens, but you know what to do if you hear them. Move to your shelters. We believe in our armed forces, in our air defense, which protect us and save the lives of people most dear to us. I remind you all that you should be saving groceries wherever possible, as our foodstuffs are running out with each new day. 
Our food reserves are dwindling and we have no way to restock them. This can happen sometimes and this is outside of our control. We cannot predict whether a certain ware will be available for sale tomorrow, as this depends on people from surrounding villages who bring their food to either sell or share with us. Many people are helping us this way. Some come to us for help, and we help them as we can. There are more than 180 refugees from nearby villages in Slavutic today, living among us. They feel much safer here than they do at home, under the bombs and shelling. I wish everyone a peaceful night. Slavutic, we shall overcome. We will get through this. I spoke to the leadership at Ukr Telecom today, and they're working on bringing a reliable, quality signal to Slavutic and other places in the Chernihiv region, as we are not the only ones having these issues. I am sure that we'll be connected within two days, although this is no simple task, as they are working under constant bombardment and shelling. Everyone is doing their job spectacularly. Everyone is helping Ukraine defend herself so that we can resist and repel the enemy, so that we can live in peace and happiness in our sovereign nation. Good night, Slavutic, and good luck to us all. Thank you.